Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the third part of this installment. And this would mainly be for a plasma cutter, but you're going to learn something. This is what's going to be, the white is going to be cut out, the black is going to be left. This is a long, and depending on how big your fish is, this is a long piece of metal uh, just to be flapping in the wind. And so what I would do, and, and like I said in the other video, this is your drawing. I would just take that and just bend it around and connect it to the other part of the fish. Now I'd look at, make it maybe look a little more natural. Uh, maybe do something like that. And then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete this. Now... I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but these two nodes are much bigger in double boxes than the other nodes. And what it is, when you zoom in real close, they're, they're two nodes, basically. Now the best way to do that, so I've got this node and this node, I'm going to zoom in here, I'm going to take my shape tool, and I'm going to lasso those two nodes. Then I'm going to go up to Windows, Dockers, and go down to Join Curves. You've got a offset or a tolerance of 0.1, so it'll fill it in. And what it's going to do is it's going to take those two nodes and it turned it into one node. So now you have a good, clean, sharp edge. And even if you took your shape tool now, you could you know, change it around without breaking it apart. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.